Hi, this is Shane. Welcome to Christian Labor. Please do like, subscribe, comment, uh, hit the donate button, or click on some of the ads. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks. Hey, it's Shane with Christian Labor. Just thought I wanted to talk a little bit about gay marriage, gay rights activism. Uh, I wanted to talk about specifically what I feel is the heart of the matter, which is that we don't have science. There is no science of uh, freedom of choice. There is no science even of the concept of consciousness. We don't have a model for why we're conscious. There is no way to connect the chemical reactions that happen in the synapses of the brain with consciousness because the consciousness itself is not a physical thing. This isn't a debatable issue. This is actually something that's well known and documented. It's not that everybody agrees that we can't know, although I believe that's the case. But everybody agrees that we don't, and yet somehow we have a Supreme Court decision that says that homosexuality is demonstrably outside of the control of human will, and that therefore it is a civil right. And this is, of course, not true. And one has to ask oneself, then, why have we been fed this lie? And the reason is... If you go back in time, you will see that there is a long-standing tradition among the political left uh, to oppose the church and to oppose even family. Marx and Engels uh, famously argued that the family is a result of capitalism. <laughs> and if you understand socialism, you will understand that capitalism is necessarily is necessary in order to develop into socialism. So socialists don't have a problem with capitalism. They want to move past it. Whereas what we actually need to do is to go outside of both socialism and capitalism to reclaim our rights to the land um, and to run our own lives. And so it's very bizarre that there is this connection in the end between economic issues and cultural and morality issues like gay marriage, like easy divorce, abortion, porn, the whole panoply of leftist social reengineering is tied to their economics because they argue that the family and all of these things are connected to economics when they're not. There's actually a great deal of study that's been put into this. We know that it's the most natural thing in the world for people to pair up and get married. And it's not at all natural for people to <laughs> pair up homosexually. You know, people say, well, it happens all the time. Well, all kinds of things happen abnormally. You know, it's, <laughs> there's no such thing as something that never happens. So if something happens at all, and you're going to say, well, it's normal because it's happened at all, you know, you may as well say Ted Bundy's perfectly normal because he only killed, you know, 40, 50 women, and, you know, that kind of thing happens. Yeah, it happens, but that doesn't make it normal. And that's the same thing with homosexuality. It's, it happens. But that doesn't make it right. That doesn't make it normal. And it certainly doesn't make it outside of your control or the kind of thing that we should promote to our children. So uh, that is the heart and the soul of the matter, and that's what I want to get to. Um, it's not about hate. It's about caring about truth and about people's actual welfare. Because people's actual welfare is tied up in knowing what actually works and what actually doesn't work, and, and doing things that work and avoiding things that don't. And if we're not even allowed to talk about what does and doesn't work, then we're in big trouble. So uh, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I hope you take care of yourself. Uh, see you later. Once again, this is Shane with Christian Labor. Hope you enjoyed the show. Please do like, comment, subscribe, donate, or click on some ads. We could sure use the money. Appreciate you. Take care.